I made a new friend. His name is Lamb Chop. And this is just one of my photo ops. I'm hunting for bison. There's uh, some bison over here. I'm gonna go and see if I can get some good shots. I found the bison, you know. They're right behind me by this tree. So I'm going to uh, go under the fence and see if I can get closer to these bison. And uh, they just have a, I see a baby just over there, so I'm gonna have to be very careful, you know, cause, you know, mother and their kids. has some emus and they're just around the corner and uh, they're huge birds they're one of the biggest birds in the world next to the ostrich and uh, I hear they're very friendly and you know I know I'm gonna get some good shots so if you like what you see uh, just give me a like um, if you don't like what you see then give me a dislike and uh, yeah I'm just here to have some fun let's go and take some photos I have to always remember to uh, lock this so none of the animals get loose. So I'm going to be filming the emus over here to make sure these gates are closed because we don't want them to escape. Look how beautiful these birds are. And then we got some swans right here. second biggest birds in the world. They don't fly, but they can run. They can run faster than 40 kilometers an hour. You can tell that uh, this is a female uh, because I'm guessing, because I have no idea. I'm not really a wildlife or a bird expert. Uh, I just like taking photos. I wonder what would happen 
I got really close to this guy. Imagine attacked and wildlife photographer killed by emu. What a way to go. Now if you were a stingray, that would be okay. And my back is up against this. So there really is no place for me to go in case this little guy decides that he wants to come after me. So I never knew, you know, I never thought that I would be, you know, taking photos of, a, of zebras. I mean, I'm in British Columbia, and as you can see, it's beautiful around here. And you didn't have to go too far to find uh, some black and whites. I mean, zebras are from Africa. So the only other place that you can think of seeing zebras is uh, in the zoo. But to get this close, it's just amazing. And uh, this is why I love life and I'm very happy to be me. And uh, you know, I, I show my videos to you guys so everyone can, you know, I'm, I'm hoping it feels like you're with me uh, on, on these little adventures. And if I can make one person smile, uh, through my photography and my videos, then that's all that matters, you know, and uh, let's, uh, let's take some photos of some zebras. So as you saw, when they got spooked by the turkey, these two, <laughs> they kind of ran in a couple, half a circle. Yeah. They ran together. <laughs> that zebras have some of the best camouflage in the animal kingdom. Uh, when a predator goes after a zebra in a herd, they run around in circles. So the predator can only see a blur and they get confused. I wish I could do that when my ex-wife was coming after me. Just kind of run around in circles so she doesn't see me. <laughs> You know, I love taking pictures of all animals, and zebras are one of my favorite. My name is Jason Kenzie, and this is Life Through My Lens. <laughs> That's not funny. My name, my name is Jason Kenzie, and this is life through my lens. What's this? Emus go all the way back to the dinosaur era, and they usually are not very friendly birds in the wild. You know, but it was my pleasure to be filming today. And I'm not nervous, as you can tell. <clears throat> but I've had such a fun time filming today. My name is Jason Kenzie. And this is life through my lens.